Hayes Incorporated has $40,000 to invest. They need to double their money in 12 years to replace a piece of equipment that they rely on for their business. Find the annual interest rate, compounded daily, that they need in order to double their money in 12 years. Alright, so this is a compound interest formula problem and we have to figure out which one we need to use. Since it says that the interest is compounded daily, that tells us to use the standard formula, which we recall from chapter 5, is given by A equals P by 1 plus R over N to the N T. All right, so now let's read through the problem and make appropriate substitutions. Hayes Incorporated has $40,000 to invest. That's how much they're starting with, so that's the p-value, 40000 They need to double their money. In the end, they need $80,000. They need to double their money in 12 years. T is 12. to replace the piece of equipment that they rely on for their business. Find the annual interest rate. We don't know R. Compounded daily. Since it's daily, that means N is 365, because there are 365 days in a year. All right, so we need to now solve this equation for R. Now let's just sort of look at the equation. Where is r? Is r in an exponent? No, it's not. So we do not need to use logarithms to solve this equation. It is not an exponential equation. In fact, it will turn out to be a, a variation on a power equation. And so we'll, we will need to use powers to solve this equation. All right, so let's simplify things a little bit. 365 times 12 is 4,380. So I have 80,000 is equal to 40,000 by 1 plus r over 365 to the 4,380th power. All right, so now what's happening to the r variable? We're dividing by 365, adding 1, raising to a power, multiplying by 40,000 and getting 80,000. Let's undo those in the inverse order. I'll divide by 40,000. So then 2 is equal to 1 plus r over 365 to the 4,380th power. Now, since I have a quantity being raised to a power, if I un to undo that, I raise it to the 1 over 4,380th power. And I have to do the same thing on the left-hand side, 1 over 4,380. Now, we definitely need the calculator for this part. 2 raised to the quantity 1 divided by 4,380 close it off, hit enter, so we get a small, uh, we get a number very close to 1, 1.00015 1 Okay, and on the left, on the right hand side, since we raised the 4,380 and then raised to the 1 over 4,380, we're now left with that quantity to the first power, which is just that quantity. 1 plus r over 365. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. So I have 0 0.00015.8265 is equal to r over 365. And finally, let's multiply through by 365. So we're multiplying here. All right, so let's do that on the calculator. We had that quantity on the calculator. Let's subtract the 1 
and let's multiply by 365. And we have 0 0.05776. All right, so R is approximately 0 0.0578. Now this is a rate, and we usually report rates as a percentage. So, conclusion. They will need an annual interest rate of 5.78% to double the investment in 12 years.